Now back to the animal control controversy in Fresno. The Fresno City Council is figuring out who will handle animal control now that the SPCA is dropping out. KMPH News reporter Ashley Ritchie has covered this controversy from the very beginning and shows us where the city goes from here. For all of these workers, this day has been many years and many tears in the making. They say they are ready for the challenge if the SBCA decides not to continue its contract, and they hope this sea of red will soon become a sea of change. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here today. Brenda Mitchell wasn't sure this day would ever come. We've been working for this as a community for so, so very long. Hundreds of local rescue workers converged on City Hall Thursday, one day after. After the Central California SPCA announced it's ending its animal control contract with the city and county effective October 1st. I was completely floored by the decision. It came uh, out of the blue. Uh, I really regret that we had to find out about it on a radio program. As I go through the, uh, the information that was given to us, I think there might be some posturing going on and I'm pretty uh, anxious to figure out uh, how this is going to play out. Whether or not the SPCA is bluffing, as many people think, the city now has six months to figure out another option. I imagine that it's in the city's best interest and also uh, SBCA's best interest to, uh, to go back to the table and, and walk through some of the problems. This city, it's the what, 33rd largest city in America. I'm confident that this city organization and also working in conjunction with the county can solve this problem. Mitchell says the rescues are creating a board of directors looking at possible locations for an animal control facility and getting together an all-around game plan. It's absolutely huge. And, you know, if, you, if you've ever been involved with an animal rescue organization, especially one that's all volunteer and has nothing but donations, you'll find that every day of their lives is a daunting task. As for what's next for the city, the council will get together and discuss what other options are available for providing animal control for the city and the county, and they hope to come up with some kind of solution. Reporting in downtown Fresno, Ashley Richardson, KMPH News. Now here's who will be on the task force. City council members, county supervisors, the assistant city manager, the county administrative officer, and local animal advocates. That task force will try to figure out who should control animal services after October. They hope to start work next week.